Wow, quite a few lives have been lost along here. Quite a few lives. Every, every summer someone drowns along here. Chasing the, uh, the mighty Australian salmon. A great sport fish, not much to eat, but a great fighting land-based sport fish. But is it worth dying for? One can only wonder. Check this out. One of the great fishing spots in the world, but she was. This was a truss set up for the loss of life of Nathan Drew. Uh, he lost his life fishing here off the off the rocks. Family watched him get swept away. So you can see now they've got these life boys to throw to. The, if anyone gets in trouble, throw the life boys. So at least they can hang on. It's a really, really eerie place. <laughs> but wow, what a fishing spot. But as a friend of mine says, you want to get one throw at the stumps and make it a good one. Is it worth not getting the chance to, to have a throw at the stumps and instead throwing it all away? What a spot. No one fishing here today. You can you can see the water here, right up the top here. Waves have been coming. See how wet and slippery the rocks are.
this. That's how far the waves have come up. That's a good 10 metres, I reckon, just from the base of those rocks. Is there a chance to catch anything out there? Big salmon, tailor, skipjack, big King George, King George whiting. Even the odd snapper. And uh, for those wanting to, to drift their baits out a bit further, it, even the, uh, the odd southern fin tuna. But wow, what a beautiful place. What a spot. You can see even these, these rocks at the base of my feet are slippery. I'm going to have to negotiate a way across and stay up the top out of harm's way. As you can see, the water's just glorious. The water is absolutely beautiful here, and it's a pretty steep drop off. Strong currents, just washing anyone that gets, uh, anyone that gets caught up will just get washed out to sea. Pretty strong currents, or autoed under. So I'm staying right up the top. It doesn't, doesn't look dangerous to all you, all you viewers, but it, it only takes one one out of the ordinary wave and, and that's it, all over. Later on we'll get some footage of uh, Frenchman's Bay where uh, land-based fisher, fisher people, fishermen, fisherwomen uh, can actually go and uh, catch herring, King George whiting, a beautiful King George whiting, one, probably the nicest uh, table fish you could get probably, right up there with the best anyway. And uh, we'll, we'll take a, we'll take a uh, drive around Frenchman's Bay later and, and uh, see if we can find any fisher or any people fishing, I should say, uh, for King George Whiting from the shore. One of uh, one of the beautiful parts of the world, hey, around here, Albany, Western Australia. Even here the rocks are slippery, wet and dangerous. Wow. So for any of you can see the distance, you can see how high up we are. For any of you people who think there's no way a wave can come up here, check this out. Check how slippery it is. We'll negotiate our way up the top here.
a spot. Shout our way down here. this wave here building up it won't come to much normally the the, uh, the, uh, the king waves that kill they can come it's normally the fourth one they come in sets of three one two three and then all of a sudden the fourth one just keeps building up over she goes get the lunatics that fish off down here in the summer off this rock that I'm viewing right now you can see how slippery it is it's a it's a slippery slope your footing just here, don't want to slide down there, a nice 10 foot drop, break a leg or two. This is a, gr this is a great spot to get the footage from. Part of the salmon holes, Albany, Western Australia people. Sensational. See a fish down there in the, in the clear water now. I don't think I can get it. I can get it on the camera. I'll try and get one. I'll try and get it. No, I don't think she's going to show. She's she's dived down again. What a fishing spot! But uh, safety comes first, folks. These rocks are extremely slippery. This is the very top. Look how slippery it is. Fish at your own risk. Rule number one, never fish alone, ever, people. Make sure you let people know what time you plan to return. If you're not back by that time, they'll come looking for you.
Oh, she's slippery, all right. I nearly went in there myself. <sighs> yeah, I think uh, I think on memory, young young Nathan, who lost his life here, I think he was only about 15 or 16. rest of his life to live. Never turn your back on the ocean, ever. The moment you turn your back, that's when the wave comes. Felt so crazy down here, people chasing the uh, the great mighty sport fish Australian salmon. They uh, they risk their lives for it. So much fun catching them, but uh, it's no fish is worth losing your life for. No way. Right, we'll navigate ourselves back up to the top. Keep going. Plenty of steps. Platform. hefty walk isn't it we'll get to the top we'll get an area view of this place just great isn't it being able to show people all around the world one of our natural wonders I think of, of the world probably uh, five hours or so south of uh, Perth in Western Australia Beautiful beach. Wow.